Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I have a very special video that's been long awaited, much anticipated, and this one is going to be on the latest update for the AirPods and AirPods Pro, which is the 3A283 update. So this is just definitely a huge update in general. Uh, this is on my AirPods Pro, uh, where you'll get a bulk of the new features, but it also is compatible with the second generation of the AirPods. Now, some of the new features for this particular update includes the following. So you're gonna get spatial audio, uh, which is the 3D audio sound that Apple talked about at WWDC all the way back in June. Uh, and this is just a, a feature that's gonna give you that Dolby Atmos sound uh, to your AirPods Pro, uh, and it'll just adjust based on the proximity of your device and also based on uh, what direction your head is. So maybe if you move your head to the left, then the spatial audio 3D sound will be different. So uh, that is just some of the many features that I'll be talking about in this video. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, so first off, this update came out today, uh, and it once again is the 3A283 update. Now, in order to get this particular update, you want to be on iOS 14 beta 8 uh, or newer, and this also works on iPadOS 14 beta 8. So you're just going to want to make sure you're on the latest particular update, and especially on iOS 14 in order for this to work. Now, once you are on iOS 14, all you have to do is just make sure that you have your AirPods uh, Pro uh, in the case. And then you're going to want to connect them to your device, whether it be an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. You're going to want to make sure that it is connected via Bluetooth uh, to your iPad uh, or to, to your iDevice. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to make sure that your AirPods Pro are connected to your wall charger. Uh, so you're just going to want to make sure that they're charging and that your AirPods Pro are right beside your iPhone or whichever particular device. So those are some of the key things that you must do in order to get it. Now, once you've done that, uh, it'll just be a very simple update and then it will just appear on your AirPods Pro at about 15 minutes once you have your AirPods Pro connected to the wall charger and they're connected to your uh, particular iDevice via Bluetooth. So here we have my iPad Pro right here and we can take a closer look. So what we can actually do is just simply go on into settings. And then once you go into settings, what we're going to do is just go into Bluetooth. And then once you're in settings and then Bluetooth, you're going to see your AirPods there. You're going to make sure that it says connected. Now that is key in order to do this update. And then once it says connected, you're just going to want to make sure that your AirPods Pro uh, are in the case, just like that. Uh, so here we have them. And then you're going to want to make sure that they're in the case. And then you're going to want to connect your AirPods Pro to your particular wall charger. So this is my AirPods Pro charger. And then at the other end right here, we have uh, the charger for the AirPods Pro. So it's just that simple. So just connect uh, it via Bluetooth once again, and then just connect your AirPods Pro to the wall charger. And then you'll be good to go. After about 15 minutes, it will automatically update. Now to know if it has updated, what we're going to do is just simply go into uh, settings and then we're going to go into general. And then we're going to go into about. And then directly at the bottom, once you go to settings, general and about, you're going to see that it'll show your AirPods Pro right there. So you're just simply going to click on it. And then once you click on it, it's going to show. And then once you click on it, it's going to show you all the information about your AirPods Pro. So let's say the manufacturer, the model number, the serial number, the firmware version. And then it's also going to show you the hardware version as well. Now, if you don't see all this information, once you scroll down to settings, general, then about, you're going to want to make sure that your AirPods are open like this. And then you're going to see that it'll give you the option to go into the about so you can see the software version for the AirPods Pro. Now, the most important part about this is that it shows the firmware version, which is 3A283. Now, if we go to Control Center, you're going to notice that there's a new feature for spatial audio. Uh, so you can just simply go into it. And then if we go to uh, where it has the headphone option, so we just simply put the headphones in. And now if we just simply tap on the volume for where the headphones are, you're going to notice that it will say uh, your AirPods Pro right there. But then directly under it, you're going to see that it will say noise control, uh, noise cancellation. And then right beside it, it says spatial audio off. So we can go ahead and turn on spatial audio. 
And then it will say that spatial audio is turned on for movies and TV shows that support it. So I, it has to have that Dolby Atmos support. So certain movies and especially all the Apple TV Plus content is definitely where uh, the AirPods Pro will shine and you'll feel that spatial audio that Apple announced at WWDC. Now, if we go back into settings and then Bluetooth, and then we go into our AirPods Pro just by simply tapping on that I for more information, what we can do is just simply take a look at what it has to offer. So you can see it says name and then it says uh, my AirPods Pro right there. And then you're gonna see that you have the noise cancellation and then the transparency. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see it'll say uh, spatial audio. Uh, so it says here immersive three dimensional audio from supported videos that follows the movement of your iPad. So you can see that it's just for the movement of your iPhone if you're on it. Uh, so it's really, really good. And once you try out spatial audio, you'll definitely be wowed. So this is another reason to buy the AirPods Pro if you don't already have the AirPods Pro in your possession. Now, another new feature that a lot of people are not talking about. Now, another new feature that came with the software update for the AirPods Pro is the automatic switching. So the automatic switching is perfect if you have the Apple ecosystem of devices. Uh, so that includes having a Mac, having a iPad, having an iPhone. This is the best time uh, that you'll be able to integrate all those different devices with your AirPods Pro now. So say if you take a phone call on your iPhone and then you go ahead and finish the phone call, then you watch a video on your iPad, uh, your AirPods will consistently switch depending what device you're using at that time. And you won't always have to go into settings and then Bluetooth and then connect your AirPods manually. It will automatically and intelligently know which device you're using and connect your AirPods Pro based on your proximity and just based on your overall habit. So this is just another uh, golden feature for the AirPods Pro, and I highly recommend updating to this particular software update. So those are the new features for the AirPods Pro. I highly recommend updating once again, and with the spatial audio alone, that is a major reason to update to this new software update. So hopefully you thoroughly enjoyed this video on the AirPods Pro. If you did, be sure to smash the like button down below. Also be sure to check out all the videos on my channel. Also leave a comment down below of what you think of spatial audio on the AirPods Pro. Also be sure to check out all the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe for more great content, and thanks for watching. Thank you.